If you want to actually uh, change the aspect ratio and you want a, an approach that will work for any asset, whether it be an image or a, or a video, then you want to use cropping. So let's drag that on top of this clip here. And I am looking at the options area. And underneath there, I've, you can see that cropping has been applied. And notice that it uh, has a number of default things that you could use. But if you want to customize it, we just go underneath here and click on the customize. And it uses the standard filter tools. But um, the bad thing is changing the aspect ratio. I can't just grab the inch and start moving it. I don't know why they haven't implemented that. Um, but you have to go into these little slider boxes and change the width or change the height. It's a really clunky interface. But I can drag this around here wherever I want. The other thing to notice about the cropping is, by default, it doesn't actually crop it. It just fills the outside with uh, a black color. So uh, the original um, size is, I think, the um, project settings for your project. If I just click on Fill Color and unclick it, now we actually crop and fill to that size. So for things that uh, wind up in the actual uh, view source, or rather the main timeline, um, you can see if I have that border, it will um, show up there. Um, again, if I unclick that, uh, the uh, fill color, it will fill up the, the area here. Um, if your asset is in the overlay channel, then it won't automatically fill it up. You can just drag to change the size. 